Hi, this is GB, and you're watching GB's Adventures. On my last walk, we ended up at the Crow's Nest, an interpretive marine center along the coastal trail. This is episode number four of the Pudding Creek to Hare Creek walk covering approximately five miles along the coast off of Fort Bragg, California. Today we will head south and end up at the Cypress Street parking. We will follow the bluff line the whole way. Some of the trail is paved, easy access. Other parts of it are undeveloped dirt trails, some very close to the edge of the bluffs. Enjoy the walk. I am now going to the right, leaving the paved road and following a dirt trail along the bluffs. When I have an option to go left or right, I will take the right hand option, which will keep me as close as possible to the ocean. This is the first of many benches made by local artists, so you can sit and enjoy the view. The structure up ahead is one of my favorites. It's a bench that seats in four different directions. It's a great spot for photography and getting different perspectives. Up ahead is the highest point along this section of trail. There is a bench near the top and it is also an excellent place for enjoying the view and taking spectacular pictures. Each March, estimated 20,000 gray whales swim past 
Fort Bragg going north. It is not quite March yet, and I did not see any today. This would have been a beautiful day to spot them. Very little wind, and the ocean is flat, and the sun is shining. The flat rocks along the coast are a great spot to view seals and sea lions and a lot of different birds. We have oyster catchers, we have turnstones, of course there are the gulls and the ravens. You can't see them from here, but the flat rocks are also homes to sea stars, sea cucumbers, sea urchins several variety of rockfish, and abalone. Unfortunately, there aren't near as many abalone as there used to be, and we can no longer gather them and create wonderful feasts. There are several harbor seals basking in the sunshine today on the rocks below. This is an example of the power of Mother Nature as she slowly erodes the bluff away. She has already taken away part of the walking path and will eventually take out the next section. Now we're looking over the Noyo Harbor and the jetty 
and the Noyo Bridge. Up ahead is the Cypress Street parking lot. Room for lots of cars and nice restrooms are available. Thank you for walking with me. Join me on the next one where we will walk up to the Noyle Bridge and across to the other side. Have an awesome day and please subscribe. Just click on my picture.